Hello and welcome to this video in which I'll be reacting to Greece's song for Eurovision 2024, Zari by Marina Sati. A disclaimer. I hadn't addressed this before because I had hoped that the EBU would come to the correct decision by now, but since they have not, I do need to address it myself. Israel should not be allowed to participate at the Eurovision Song Contest 2024. If Russia hadn't been banned in 2022, maybe we'd be having a different conversation right now, and on a personal note, maybe Eurovision wouldn't have become such an important part of my life, but this is the reality that we are living in, so this is the conversation that we are having. Regardless of what you think of the current atrocities happening in Gaza, intentionally cutting off other people's access to food, water and electricity is abhorrent, not to mention the act of killing. If you think governments and broadcasters should be considered as separate entities, consider the situation with Russia again. There is a video explaining why Israel shouldn't be allowed to participate linked in the description, and the creator also calls to action about what you can do yourself. Please watch that video and do something. Further resources are also listed as and when they become relevant. I'll stop talking about this when it stops being relevant. I'm fairly excited for the song. I imagine it could become a fan favourite, but won't be my kind of cup of tea. Still curious what it is about though. Obviously it's called Zari, which I believe means dice. And if that's the case, I'm very excited about the title alone because I do like board games, but I imagine it will probably be something more in the direction of like, let the dice decide if you're gonna come and dance with me tonight or something like that. I think it's both in English and Greek, so I won't understand the Greek parts. On the whole, my only reason to be worried about the song at all is because the artist got chosen before the song did. There was a submission period for a song for this artist after it was announced that Marina Sari would be singing. Other than that, it seems like the Greek team has worked very hard on it and the music video seems cool from the pictures that Marina has posted on Instagram. So really, I'm not too worried. Just a tiny bit because the artist was announced before the song was. But she seems like a cool artist, so I'm sure she can pull pretty much anything off. Oh, the video seems to not be up on the official Eurovision channel at 8pm, which is what I had understood from other places on the internet previously. So I'm going to do a little bit of digging to find out where it is, and I'll be back once I have found it. I found out what happened with Greece's song. There was a Greek TV show that was premiering with the music video in it. The TV show started at 8pm. Marina Sati is apparently there to perform the song live as well, but I'd like to react to the music video because that's what I have available on YouTube quickly. It is being premiered at 9.30pm, so the premiere will start any minute now and I'll get back to you once it starts. Like now, ads have just started. There's two minutes to wait again. I apologise if the heart has moved because I filmed my top 12 for Sweden in between. I'm trying to film this and actually getting to film it now. Reese's Bliss. Hmm. People meeting at the airport, some electronic production, some traditional sounds. Hmm. Eurovision tour, I think I've seen that on Instagram already. That's pretty piercing. That's not what I expected. I'm gonna be very honest. I thought it's gonna be more of a dance pop and maybe it will turn into that. But this piercing star is not what I expected at all. Hmm, that's interesting. Just introductions in English. But it does sound pretty Greek. This is so interesting. This is really not what I expected, expected at all. Like, I expected it being slightly dancey and sounding traditional, but I was expecting slightly more English and not this exact sound of the electronic stuff as well. And this filming up from high up, that's also very interesting. Ah, oh, I guess it does represent the stands. I've forgotten what the stands are called. Apologies. Wow, she filmed in some proper locations. Oh, 
I hope there's a proper ready staging concept for this because I don't know what's going to be happening during these ta 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 bits. I mean, maybe someone's up on stage playing that instrument. Zari, yeah, okay, I heard Zari, but I don't know what the context was. Okay. Nice. That's a pretty cool bit of the music video. That's pretty cool. It really is acting like a tourist ad for Greece. Is this how they're funding their song this year, or is it just that's what you want to do? There's some dice. Cats, yeah. This song feels very long, but I'm impressed. Dear Europe, I'm sending you so much love from Greece, the birthplace of democracy, philosophy, philosophy, and a bunch of other long words. See you soon, Malba. Philakia Marina Zatti. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm in shock. That's not what I expected at all. I wish I understood more of it, but I'm going on my first listen. I literally don't know what it's about. I know it sounds traditional and it's stuff like I'm on my way or whatever, or like come with me or something like that. There's like two or three English phrases. This is fascinating. This is really not what I expected at all. And I can't make up my mind about it as to what I actually think because I was ready for something else. And now I'm just confused, but maybe I'm just trying to process what I actually did see. Immediately upon release, I can't seem to find any concrete information about what the song is about. Based on it being called Zari, I imagine it's something to do with luck. But I truly do not speak Greek and I do not know what the lyrics actually mean. I'm curious about that. I think it's an enjoyable song for some. I don't think it will climb very high up for me, but I am very much not confident on that. I think I need way more listens to be able to determine that properly and I don't know what to expect from the staging either because yes she can have like grease on the LEDs but what is going to be physically happening on the stage? Is she going to be moving about at all? I imagine so because there's a bit of a dance thing within the music video. I don't think I can compare this to anything else that we have this year so I'm curious if this novelty factor alone will make it go through. I mean, obviously, Marina Sati seems to be an experienced singer, so I imagine she'll have no trouble performing it, and maybe that will also get her points, because some televoters can also recognise when a song is performed well, not just if it's fun. So I imagine it has fairly good chances of qualifying, but I'm nowhere near confident. A lot of people seem to be of the opinion that this song is good enough to allow Greece to win, Eurovision 2024. I'm not sure of that after my first listen. Maybe. Maybe once I listen to it more I'll agree. But for right now, I do not. But I do find it very cool there's almost entirely in Greek. Yes, it's slightly annoying me right now because I don't understand what it's actually about, but it's pretty cool for the Eurovision stage. I love hearing anything other than English on the Eurovision stage. I wish the UK would send something like Welsh or something as well. No reason they can't, but it's unlikely to have chart success if it's not in English. I don't know if you can pick up Robin's uh, purring, but she's being very loud right now and very huggy and wants all the strokes. So she's getting a lot of strokes. I do think this has lots of potential to become a really iconic performance but because i don't understand the lyrics right now and there's no concrete staging i don't know how well it will do i need to just wait and see really because i literally do not know oh robin robin has just moved the tripod back and forth in her desire to have all the strokes so um i'll probably do that I'm not sure I've got much more to say. I'm a tiny bit tired and because it's not what I was expecting, I couldn't really prepare myself for it. Not that I usually prepare myself, but somewhere in the back of my mind, my brain is working out what is relevant to what I expect the song to be. So, oh, stop it, Robin. Robin is moving the tripod all of the time now. I'm just going to hold you like this now for the rest of the video. <laughs> but that was impossible this time, so... I don't have much more to say about the song. I think it's pretty cool and I like the title, but I literally cannot imagine what it will actually look like on the Eurovision stage. You ready to go? 
Okay. I wish Marinos had you all the best. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it, that got something out of it. I'll see you in the next one and then that shows up on your feed. Bye! Editing me! Please remember to cut out a few seconds during the actual music video for the alarm that I had for Duolingo. Sorry.